Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney Springs. It is officially October, so that means new cookies and coffees at Gideon's Bakehouse, and also all of the Halloween activities are starting to kick up, so I wanted to come on down, try some of the new snacks, hang out, and just have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. I really love how they celebrate the fall season down here at Disney Springs. Fall into magic at Disney Springs. Isn't that so nice? I like it too. I wish there was a pumpkin patch here. That would be really cool. Can you imagine a pumpkin patch at Disney Springs? We're gonna head straight on over to Gideon so that we can see if it's a standby wait or a virtual queue. October is Gideon's birthday month, so they go all out. Like, it is a big deal for them. And I'm sure they're gonna have the Frankenstein cookie returning this year. I'm very excited for that. And uh, it might be a long wait, so we're gonna have to check in, see what it's like. Looks like they are doing a virtual queue, and it is a 120 minute wait. I'm all checked in, so we're just gonna have to wait two hours, and then we get to come back. At least we don't have to stand in line and wait two hours. That's one thing I do appreciate about the virtual queue. Because of Hurricane Ian recently, a lot of businesses are having supply and shipping issues, and here at Gideon's, they weren't able to get their new menu shipped out in time for the launch of the new cookie of the month. So I don't have a menu to show you guys or the artwork. It will come eventually, but it just got delayed because of the hurricane. But I can tell you that Frankenstein lives, that cookie is coming back, and the bride of Frankenstein is gonna be back. And uh, they have a Frankenstein uh, cake slice, so that's very popular. And they are out of peanut butter cold brew because there is a peanut butter shortage too here in Florida. But uh, yeah, we're going to wait a little bit and just head right on and get our cookie. All right, I have obtained the goods. Delicious things await. I got the two cookies. I got the Frankenstein and then the Bride of Frankenstein. And then in this little box, I got something that I'm gonna be using the whole entire month of October. I love this so much. Take a look. It is a pumpkin, it's a pumpkin chai cold brew candle. So a pumpkin cold brew scented candle and it smells amazing. I wish I wish we had such things as smell-o-vision because you would absolutely love this. It's so good. Oh, I just, I, I get so excited. I'm in the pumpkin mood now. I'm, I'm all about it. I got pumpkin air fresheners. I've been eating some pump, I've been drinking some pumpkin spice coffee. Now I've got some pumpkin chai uh, candles to burn. They also had a Frankenstein cake, but I decided on getting the two cookies because they go hand in hand. You have the Frankenstein and you have the Bride of Frankenstein. And speaking of classic monsters, I'm wearing a classic monsters Roosevelt. And it actually has the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster on the shirt itself. So how funny is that? I love these new shirts. There's a link in the, the description of the video if you guys wanna buy one. Roosevelt's have been killing it with the Universal Monsters. It's so amazing. All right, enough of the candle business. It's time to get to the cookie business. And I don't know which one is which, but we're gonna start off with this one right here. And I am so excited. Ooh, this is the, oh, this is the Frankenstein cookie. This is Frankenstein Lives. This cookie stitches together various chocolates, double stuffed Oreos, and M&Ms to resurrect one of the most popular limited edition cookies of the year. Look at this. Oh. I can't wait to dive into it. So we'll actually try this one and then we're gonna try the bride one on this side. So we get the best of both worlds. You guys know how we have to do this. We have to break the cookie first. So here it is, look at this. Doesn't it look so good? It's like almost a perfect Halloween cookie. I'm trying to focus in on it real nice. And we're gonna make the cookie crumble. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Look at this. Oh my Lord, do you see those double stuffed Oreos in there? That is mind blowing. Oh my lord. This is this is really this is intense right here. But here we go. This really is a Frankenstein of a cookie. Look at that double stuffed Oreo just sitting right in the middle there. That is mind blowing, isn't it? This is why it's one of the most popular limited edition cookies out there. This is so good. Very sweet. I mean, very very sweet, but perfect for the Halloween season. A perfect October cookie, if I do say so myself. All right, now it is time for the Bride of Frankenstein. And this is made of the same mold as Frankenstein, but it uh, features white chocolate and 
golden Oreos, and I, I think I might like this one more. Honestly, I mean, I'm a white chocolate kind of guy. I love it, and uh, yeah, I think this, this one might do it for me. So we're gonna break it open. Gotta get uh, nice and focused on the cookie. Watch all those cookie like crumbs come down. Look at this, wait. Look at the Oreo still in that. Holy moly. I'm telling you, these cookies are like on another level. Seriously, another level. That's the one right there. Wow. I really hate to do it to the Frankenstein, but the bride is way better. It, I just, I like it. I just like it more. Look at, there's so much more Oreo like filling in there. Do you know what I mean? Because it uses the golden Oreo. This is so, wow. These are great cookies. Seriously, I'm impressed. Uh, both of them, I'm impressed. I just like this one a little bit more because of my preference, you know? I did make a mistake though because I should have got like a coffee or a drink. Like I didn't, I didn't get anything. So it's hard to actually eat them without, you know, a glass of milk. A nice glass of cold milk would go good with some Oreo cookies or Frankenstein cookies. That would be fantastic. Now we're gonna wrap up our cookies, take them home, freeze them, and uh, we'll be able to eat them throughout the week. I got two of them here. Look at this. Back in the bag you go. Come on, Frankenstein. <laughs> Doing things one-handed is very difficult sometimes. There you go. Go back to your home, back in your home. Delicious things await. Actually, we'll put it in here with our candle too. I can't wait to light up that candle. All right, cookies, check. Now we have to head on over to Sprinkles because we need to stock up on pup cakes for Gracie Girl. A trip to Disney Springs isn't complete unless we get Gracie a bunch of little pup cakes from uh, Sprinkles here. Little tiny doggy cupcakes. And she's been out for a while, so she's been looking for them. As I was ordering pup cakes for Gracie, I noticed they have a pumpkin spice latte cupcake. An actual pumpkin spice latte cupcake. How fancy is that? I mean, I would love to try it, but I think I have too much with the cookies already, so we'll just stick to the pup cakes. I'll take three of them. Three of them, that'll do it. I cannot wait till later on to get home and give Gracie one of these pup cakes because the dog bones are back on it. Look, she's gonna love that. I'm so excited. Now we gotta get moving along though. I wanted to stop over here to Amaretz, show you guys the new pumpkin treats that they have. Take a look right here. They actually have them outside, which is really nice. I like that they display them outside now. It makes it easier than having to go inside. They have a pumpkin creme brulee, and then they have a pumpkin apple tart. A pumpkin apple tart sounds actually really good, and that one contains alcohol, and it's only $8. It comes with uh, port wine. Port wine poached apples. Say that like three times, port wine poached apples. I don't know why that's so tricky, but I like it. I also want to stop into the world of Disney. I want to check out their Halloween decorations in there and see if they got the Haunted Mansion dog bed yet. They had a Haunted Mansion dog bed over at Disneyland and I couldn't get it back here and I was waiting for it to come over here because Gracie would love that. They usually decorate the world of Disney pretty well for the Halloween season. You got some nice characters dressed up in the uh, windows, and then they normally have a big gigantic Mickey pumpkin. Oh yeah, I can see it right there actually. Look at that. Very fancy, and the, the lighting in here is good. Happy Halloween 2022. Look at the big sign up there. They've got some Mickey pumpkin uh, candle holders here. Those are cool, even though I just got some. Ooh, and they got some Halloween Crocs. Look at these fancy things. I've been loving Crocs recently. I don't know why. They just feel really comfortable in the parks. But I don't like this. That's a little too much. And then they also have some spirit jerseys. And I'm not even too sure what this is. Oh, I'm so sorry. What is this? Oh, it's a pet costume. Oh, my Lord. It turns your pet into a Mickey pumpkin. Should I? I mean, Gracie's actually already has a Halloween costume. She's zero, so I probably won't do it, but I will show you pictures of Gracie dressed up in her Halloween costume because it's adorable. It's actually Gracie's birthday, and we celebrated uh, just a couple days ago. We went out and we got photos together. She dressed up as zero, and it was really nice. And uh, uh, when I get home, I will show you guys the photos. I'll give Gracie her a cupcake, and I'll show you guys our little photo session. It was really, really awesome. But also, uh, happy birthday to Gracie. She got her own little cake and everything, and it was really nice. 
so uh, now we're gonna see if we can get her a new bed. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I was just in here the other day and I bought Gracie a dog bed and I'm already looking to get her another one, but I did notice that they dropped a whole bunch of Wakanda Forever merchandise. This is really cool. I like this shirt a lot. That's actually really awesome. There's a couple of really cool things. They've got a long sleeve one. They've got some pants, a hoodie. This is the first Wakanda Forever like merchandise I've, I've actually seen in the parks and I'm impressed. One of the people inside told me the Haunted Mansion dog bed is over in the co-op and I got so excited I decided to just run over there real quick as if someone's going to go in there and swoop up and buy the last one. Uh, I mean, I, that's my luck, but I'm sure they got plenty in stock, but no time to waste. I decided to cut through the fancy store and I noticed that they replaced the very expensive Cinderella Castle with a new very expensive Cinderella Castle. This is... Uh, Looks like limited edition of 50 pieces worldwide. Worldwide for this Cinderella castle, but you'll never guess how much it costs. This whole set right here is $250,000. A quarter of a million dollars. That's a lot of money, but they have other things here. They've got roses too. And I guess that's why they say every rose has its thorn. I made my way over to the co-op, but it looks like they got rid of the uh, little uh, gallery that was over in this side of the co-op and they turned it into another Marvel store. Like, I just noticed that it's all Marvel in here. It used to be all art pieces and I always like stopping in here and uh, yeah, it's all gone. It's all just Marvel now, but they do have some cool Marvel. They have more Wakanda stuff and then they even have uh, like Marvel Halloween. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing, but yeah, they literally have like Marvel Halloween stuff. These are kind of cool. I'm kind of interested in this one right here. I don't know what uh, the fabric is. That's very nice. And they have a Groot. A Groot like trick or treat. <laughs> what do you even call this? A bowl? This is all very interesting. They've got Marvel Halloween, but unfortunately, they don't have dog beds. They don't have the Haunted Mansion dog bed. I'm real upset about that. But I'm gonna go look in the world of Disney. Maybe I got false information before and I just went on a hot lead. Maybe it wasn't a good lead, but maybe it's over there. So we're gonna go back, just bounce it back and forth. And after another look through the world of Disney, unfortunately, the dog bed was not there. So we'll just have to wait a little bit longer. I'm sure she won't mind. She does have a dog bed right now. She's got one she just actually destroyed. And then the other one didn't last long. The one that I actually bought in here, it, it didn't last long at all. It kind of got all messed up. I'll show you guys maybe later on. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't made well, I don't think. Holy moly, I do have to say it is very busy at Disney Springs right now. I know a lot of people are on their uh, bounce back vacation because they canceled their vacation because of the hurricane and now people are coming back. But look at the crowd of people above us. It's starting to get late in the evening, so I think it's time to get some dinner. And I wanted to actually go to Polite Pig and see if they have anything new for the month of October. And uh, it's one of my all like go-to restaurants. I love eating at the Polite Pig. So even if they don't have anything new, they will have something I want to get. So it's always a win-win there. I'm sure they have something special going on for the month of October. We are still celebrating uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, so they might actually have a specialty on the menu that coexists with that. We'll just have to check and see. If not, we'll get Brussels sprouts. Looks like they're preparing some of the meats at the moment right now. Look at that. That is too good. Oh boy, are we about to see some seasoning happening? This is too good. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> oh boy. Look at that. Oh. That's why I come here. So much seasoning. It's uh, everything, all of the barbecue here is so smoky. Look at, look at them making sure to get it in every single little crevice. That's the way. 
looks like they are doing a special and it's a smoked portinga and it comes with fire roasted tomatoes poblano peppers and apple slaw and it looks really good it's served with tortillas and uh i went for it you know if they have a special i always opt in for a special because it's something unique i mean you can always have your go-to's my go-to's here is definitely the coffee rubbed smoked brisket i love it but i gotta try the new things you know all right here it is the pork tinga and look at this it's like the pulled pork but with much more seasoning in there it looks fantastic and then here is the apple slaw and then the creme and then it comes with some nice warm tortillas and of course i had to get the brussels sprouts so we're gonna build ourselves a little tortilla a little taco and uh, dive in I just saw this and I think this is so cool. They're doing a special Polite Pig Experience Cocktails and Bourbon Food Pairing Dinner, October 4th at 6 p.m. Four course meal for $75. And they only had 20 reservations and they just told me now that they have eight open spots opened up eight open spots so if you guys are interested you should just go and check out this link right here i'm not going to be here i'm actually traveling to uh somewhere special but uh i'm gonna miss out on this but if you want to come there are a couple spots open so uh i'll put this little link in the description so you can check it out one of my all-time favorite things here are these brussels sprouts they made me fall in love with brussels sprouts i've never liked brussels sprouts until i've had the polite pig ones and now i have to try them everywhere i go so thanks polite pig all right let's dive on into this pork tinga here i'm gonna get my tortilla ready to go i don't know if i can get it out of the tin foil though holy moly there we go that's the way and we're gonna just dive right on in you know we're gonna just flop it like this look at this that's how you do it that's the way very important observation they give you like six tortillas anywhere else i go they only give you like three of them but they gave me six already so they've got good points for that already and now we're diving in the combination of flavor and texture in this is just beyond next level seriously you can taste that smokiness and then you get hit with the the peppers and the fire roasted tomatoes this is phenomenal so good and the pork is just on point on point pork <laughs> Seriously, if this was something that was on the menu regularly, I think I might actually make it like one of my favorite things. Wow, so good. I, I mean, I'm obsessed now. This is definitely one of my favorite things I've gotten here in a long, long time. I don't know if this is something that's ever been done before, but we're gonna do it here today. We're gonna add some Brussels sprouts into our taco. Oh, I dropped the Brussels sprout on the table. That's gotta be no good. Don't wanna spill these precious beauties. We're gonna make a special little taco here. We're gonna add the Brussels sprouts. Then we're gonna take some more of the pork tinga. Gotta get a nice big helping right here. Look at this. This is how we do things. Just like that. Then we gotta take some of the sauce. Oop. I like to break the thing so then we can get an even pour. There we go. Creating new inventions for the world of tomorrow. The Brussels sprout taco. I'd give it a 10. I'd give it a 10, I say, a 10. Well, that was amazing. The pork tingo was great. I think that's gonna be on the menu for the whole month of October. And if you're here for October 4th, or you're a local and you wanna come, I'll put the link for that special tasting. It's $75 a person, and it definitely is gonna be a good time. It is officially dark outside. The sun has gone completely down. And I want to stop at one more spot over at Disney style. I want to see if they got any new, uh, like, Disney merchandise. Maybe some spirit jerseys or some cool jackets because I'm taking a trip up north and I don't own pants. So, need something to keep me warm. Well, I'm not seeing anything that's like sweater weather clothing. They've got these cool retro Walt Disney World shirts, but they're tank tops. And then they've got some more stuff for Halloween over here. 
They have an hourglass. Oh, this is actually really cool. I actually really like this a lot. It's an hourglass, but with Mickey and the ghost. Look at this. That is so actually really, really awesome. I, would, I wouldn't mind getting this. I wonder how much it is. Oh, they got more. They've got short glasses over here. What is this? Is this like a little picture frame? They've got a lot of different stuff. Is this an ice bucket? Rest in pieces. All of these things actually are getting me excited. Yeah, I guess you can see everything all at once right here. You don't find this stuff at the uh, World of Disney. You only find this stuff over here, I feel like. That's really cool. They got shooters down there. Ooh, they even have some t-shirts too. Very fancy. They do have some Hades merchandise over here. They've got like a nice little hoodie there. I like it, but I don't like the way Hades looks. Like his head looks distorted a little bit, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't, I'm not too sure I'm a big fan. They've got a lot of cool stuff uh, for the villains so far. They, they even uh, giving uh, Ursula some love over here. I don't, oh, this is Ursula Jafar. This is all of them, a lovely mess, but I'm not even sure what this is. Does anybody, what is this? It's a tray. Why do they just have a tray? It's a valet tray set. It's a valet tray set. I don't know what that's used for, but uh, it's nice to see villains getting some merchandise, I guess. Well, no luck actually finding any like really cool spirit jerseys. So I think we're gonna head out, but before we do, I wanna show you one more cool thing that they do here at Disney Style that I think is actually really amazing. I they have this castle mural here and it actually goes from night to day and it changes like look at the colors changing and it has the mickey pup the mickey pumpkins on main street how cool is that you can actually see it changing right now i think that is such a cool thing i remember when they actually had uh like the uh, Haunted Mansion on here. I think that was like five years ago. They had uh, the caretakers from the Haunted Mansion dancing on there. But look, now it's turning into daylight. That is so interesting. And it just looks so beautiful. All right, now it's time to head home. We're gonna give Gracie her pup cups. I'm gonna show you guys her bed, what she did with it. And uh, I'll be wrapping up there. Is there a pretty little princess here who wants a pup cup? There she is! Oh, ho, 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 look at you! And look at her little bandana! Yes! Yes, you want pup cup? You want pup cup? Huh? Yes, you do! Look at her. Yes! Are you excited? I've got a little pup cup for you. <gasps> okay, here we go. I gotta take the wrapper off. I gotta take it off. Here you go. Who's a good girl? Huh? Who's a good girl? All right. <laughs> she always flips it over like that. Yes, very good. I'm in the middle of packing up right now. I'm actually gonna be heading out on a very fun little trip up north. I'll talk about that uh, probably, well, in a couple of minutes. But I did wanna show you guys Gracie's bed. I'm gonna show you what she's been up to. Yes, come on, come show me the bed here. Look at this. Look at this. Did you do this? Huh? Look at this. <laughs> I got her this gigantic comfy bed and she does love it. But look at what she did. She ripped holes in it. She's pulling all the stuffing out. Is this what you're doing? Why are you doing this? Huh? Why are you doing this? <laughs> it looks like you like this. It's a very comfy bed, but she's destroying it. And then I got her this other bed over here at Disney. This is the one I got at Disney Springs and it's bent. It's bent. The cushion's bent. So I don't know what to do. I wanted to get her the Haunted Mansion one. I tried to fix it for her and she uses this as her like lounge couch area. This is like her couch area. Gracie basically owns my whole entire bedroom. Like she's taken over. I think I was thinking about like clearing out my closet and making her own like little room, but it's already dumb, uh, like Dalmatian themed in here. I have tons and tons of Dalmatian stuff, as you can see, like on the walls here. I've got some of the artwork from 101 Dalmatians. And then I had a big picture that I'm actually gonna be hanging up there soon. But I thought about turning this 
like my little closet into her room. I thought it would be cool. And also, what do you guys think about my Roosevelt collection? <laughs> Isn't it neat? I got Roosevelt's galore and a bunch of fedoras. This is, this is so funny. I should do a get ready with me one day. I have so many shirts. I love how we turned this into like a Cribs edition vlog. But <laughs> I've got a lot, a lot of Roosevelt's. And this isn't even all of it. I just ran out of hangers. I have a whole closet full of shirts too. But that is another day, another time. Maybe we'll do a whole entire like Roosevelt collection thing. And speaking of Roosevelt's, I'm going to be heading up north and I'm gonna be attending the New York Comic Con with Roosevelt's. I am so excited. I've never been to the New York Comic Con and it's been years for me that I've been to the city. So it's gonna be awesome. So there might be a lapse in days where I'm not gonna have a video because I'm gonna be traveling and getting all uh, organized and stuff like that. But be on the lookout in the future for a New York City vlog, paging Mr. Morrow in the city. I like that. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I don't know what I'm gonna get myself into. I really wanna try to get into Peter Luger's or uh, Rayo's, uh, the, the Italian restaurant, but I don't know how I can get into it. I wanna find some iconic things to do in New York. So if you guys have any suggestions in the city, New York City, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because I want to make the most of it, you know? In New York! Oh boy. Anywho's, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Oh my lord, I almost forgot to show you guys Gracie in her little Zero outfit. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? We, <laughs> we had so much fun. Look at her hair, look at her face. Oh my lord. <laughs> this was the best. So cool. But her birthday is coming up. And uh, yeah, we had a little celebration. A little photo session. I'm glad I remembered to show you guys because these are priceless. <laughs>